Good afternoon, super happy campers. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to see more like this. Today, I've got the Shasta here. Unbeknownst to the owners, this, I'm actually just managing this unit. So the owners aren't involved. They're, they're just going about their life. I didn't tell them that I had their trailer rented out within 36 hours of taking possession of it. So this is the first time they're seeing this too. They, they're finding out that their trailer got rented. Uh, upcoming, you're gonna see a video. I'm gonna show you of what the trailer looked like when I picked it up. So twofold, one, I understand the anxiety that people can have when they are renting out their trailer. It's kind of like your baby and the first time that I rented mine out, I had a hard time sleeping at night. I was worried something was going wrong, something was going to break, I was going to get that phone call in the middle of the night. It didn't happen. However, I also understand that this is their first rental on their baby, and I didn't want to put them through that anxiety and staying up at night wondering and texting, hey, is everything okay? Everything is fine. However, I did shoot a video when I picked up the trailer of what the condition was that the renter left it in. So you can see what a trailer looks like when they come back. So twofold, one, if you're considering renting a trailer, you can see the condition that some other people bring it back. And if you're considering, if you own a trailer and you're considering renting it, but you're worried that somebody might trash your trailer, keep watching. You'll see what that looks like when it comes back from a rental. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna shut up because I'm starting to fumble right over words. So let's get started. Hi, right, good afternoon, super happy campers. We're out at Steamboat Rock State Park and I wanted to show you all what a trailer looks like when I come to pick it up. Uh, you know, a lot of owners, they're, they're hesitant about renting out their trailers because they think clients are going to trash it uh, so I want I want you to see what it really looks like when a trailer gets picked up, what the condition looks like, what, you know, I have not even gone in this trailer today. So I just got here. I, I did get the keys because they, they left them in a certain place that I told them to leave them. So I'm here to pick it up. Let's go inside and take a look, see how it is. See if it's trashed, see if you would ever rent your trailer out. All right, here we go. The first thing you noticed, I did do a walk around the outside and the outside still is in good shape. And we are inside the trailer now. And this is what it looks like. Client even made the bed, you know, let's take a look. See, the sheets are still on it, so I will launder the sheets, even though, you know, don't know if they've been used or not. But because it was out for rental and the sheets are on the bed, they're going to get washed. And we'll look around. The extra blanket that I leave is still all folded up in there. Uh, this is some a blanket and a bag that was that is in the trailer. That's actually the owner's. Uh, let me know if you guys want it back be while it's rented. And that one is empty just as it was. Up in the upper cabinet, the coffee pot is still there. It's not broken. Here's your, your dishes. Uh, the owners provided a light duty cotton pan set there. And then I added in a regular a, a heavy, heavy bottom frying pan, and a small pot. There we go, we'll zoom out just a little. And then look, they, they left the business card. I wish they would have taken that with them. Just so you know, if you rent with JM Gaines RV rentals and you don't trash the trailer, I am willing to rent directly to you without going through an RV rental platform 
they typically charge 25% and then they charge the renter or they, they take 25% of the profits right off the top. And then they also charge renter fees to the to each renter. So if you rent from me directly, I can save you some money. I have commercial insurance on each unit. And there we go, everything's in there. Looks good. I didn't put anything in this in this one, but we'll go down there and you can see it's still empty. Okay, uh, well, let's see. see what the fridge looks like. The refrigerator is clean. Looks good. Drawers. And it's still cold, so we know it's still working. Nice and clean in there. Did they trash the microwave? Did it splatter it all over? No, the microwave looks beautiful. All right, here's the last stop here. This is the bathroom door. Come on inside. Oh my goodness, they left towels in here. Dirty towels in the shower. Because that's exactly where I told them to leave them. So this way, I know which laundry got used, what towels were used. I asked them just to leave them in the shower so that way I can get them home and launder them. Even the toilet's clean. In the cabinet and there's the other towels that did not get used ready for the next rental and the owners also left uh, a few little personal items in here if you would like those back absolutely let me know I will get them to you down below there there's still toilet paper and the garbage can so all in all I'd say this this tenant this client she took very good care of the trailer she treated it as this if as if it was her own and that's not going to get edited out you get to see the blooper reels of me stumbling over words because that's just what i do but anyway this is a night a 2022 shasta 17 foot trailer if you're interested in renting it please comment below like and subscribe if you like this content i appreciate you all I'm going to take one more quick run outside. We are at Steamboat Rock State Park in Grand Coulee, Washington. This is Banks Lake right out here where we're camping. And when I do these pickups and drop-offs, this is the, the sights I get to see. Uh, that back there, that is Steamboat Rock back behind the trees there. But it's just, it's beautiful out here. So if you ever want to go, I can deliver out to Steamboat Rock. It is, it's about a hundred miles from my location. So I, it does, I do have to charge a pretty steep delivery fee on this. But you can always pick trailers up at my home for actually no, no extra charge. Thank you all for watching. Once again, the 2022 Shasta. 18 fq the fq stands for front queen bed all right thank you all for watching have a great day